Back in the 1970s, the UK had its very own Tiger King, a guy called Louis Foley that kept a lion at his council house in the West Midlands. And these two press photographers both went along to photograph him and the lion. We got the call and went down there. We thought there was a lion running through the estate. And then somebody said, oh, well, it's Louis. He's, he's, he's got all sorts of pets in there. He said he had a camel before he had the, before he had the, the uh, lion. I believe he had a tiger later, didn't he? Yep. yep. And well, um, when I went down, um, he invited us in, and he got the lion on a, a piece of rope. And <laughs> I was in one of the bedrooms, and he, he let the lion loose and uh, held it on this rope. And then when it got almost on top of me, he pulled it and I shut the door quick. <laughs> now, did, I, I, what, I, what I was trying to remember, did you go to the actual night when he was, the lion was barricaded in? What no. happened? No he, no, he invited yeah. us in to take a picture of him and his lion because he was in trouble with the council. That's right, and this incident happened afterwards what, uh, about the, uh, the lion went berserk in the house and the picture I'd got uh, is of the lion at the window of uh, his bedroom window, trying to get out and snarling and everything else. And Lewis trying, he's saying, saying to the police, "It's all right, calm down, you know." And when he went near to to struggle, he wah. And then uh, they had to wait a couple of hours because at that time the vet wasn't uh, Mr. Stewart, I think it was. The vet. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I know him. Yeah. He, used him. To, he wasn't available, and so the curator of Dudley Zoo, Mike, I can't remember Williams. Mike's name. Mike Williams, yes. Thank you for that. See, it's useful having a camera and cover the same batch. So uh, Mike Williams uh, was coming out from the zoo to, with a tranquilizer. So all this was going on, all the neighbors are getting uh, suitably interested, not alarmed, because they were used to everything with him. He'd go out with a boa constrictor around his neck and whatever. But uh, the lion was getting agitated. And so he arrived. I got a picture, uh, the picture of him uh, actually by the window outside and, and trying to get out the lion and Foley trying to get in. And then after the lion had been tranquilized, Foley and his mate uh, with the lion who's uh, been knocked out, zonked out. Graham, in fact, has got a great picture which was taken a couple of days before, just, uh, if you explain that thing about the council or the neighbours that complained about a lion well, the in the The council was uh, trying to get him out, weren't they? They're trying to, well, they're trying to stop him from keeping the lions. Mm. And he invited us in to say that, uh, you know, it was perfectly okay to keep his lion in the bedroom. Uh, and that the lion actually went, f went for me. We all lay on a rope and it, then he pulled on the rope and I shut the door and disappeared. But I did get a really great shot. Yeah, I think so. It was excellent, yeah. excellent. Because the lion was really coming at me. <laughs> this, the difference between the pictures was, Graham went along to do this and nearly got his head bitten off. I, I, I arrived, uh, well, I think it was days later, when the, the, the con controversy was the lion had gone berserk in the bedroom and was trying to attack anything. And uh, police were called, the cordons were on. But they put the, co me, they put the cordons up and we were still inside the cordon. Completely. Well, I was next to him virtually doing the picture. Good job. Thank God for those Nikon 28s. They were marvellous. And, uh, and then Good job. We ain't got a plate camera. <laughs> and when we VN plate. <laughs> You'd have to keep changing One off. Sheets. Ah. Hang on. And, we should, and uh, then once he'd been tranquilised, we went in with a vet, uh, well, not with a curator, sorry, from the zoo, where normally nowadays the police would have kept you miles away. Uh, they went in and got a picture of the, the lion. I actually, because I've, I've always loved animals, uh, I, I felt terribly sorry for the lion. You cannot keep a, an animal in a bedroom like that, especially a lion, full grown lion. But uh, it's, it, it's it, it, there's one thing you, you reminded me, both of us, and you must remember this, Phil. We had Dudley Zoo on our patch. And we were always endeavouring to get pictures. They were always crying out for pictures. Yes. Yeah. What about the polar bear? No, you could do the polar bear. Tell right. me about the polar bear. Well, the polar See. bear, what is, you've, got, you've got to have his tooth taken, remember? Oh, <laughs> got yes. his tooth pulled by the, uh, the, the, the zoo vet. And Mike Williams darted it, so it was out. 
and we all climbed down the, into the pit. Big pit. And we walked across to the polar bear and we'd just taken pictures and the vet was just about and this polar bear reared itself up <laughs> and five photographers <laughs> ran for one single... Uh, door, little door. Uh, well, it was just some steps, wasn't yeah. it? Fighting each other off. <laughs> and we heard the vet say, you cowardly lot. It's just his nerves. <laughs>